Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your mid-May reading. All right, listen. I've already looked over your astrology, but I didn't take any notes because I just want to do this really intuitive. I find that the Pisces readings have to be done this way as opposed to every other reading because, like I said, like I always say, like I'm going to say again, you guys already know everything. I'm just here to organize it into some fun little lists in your brain. And I'm here with you to enjoy the surprises of how these cards lead us into that psychoanalysis. So here we go. Take a deep breath. And let's see what these archetypal themes are for you. Mercury has gone direct as of two days ago. Jupiter moved into Taurus yesterday. And today we have a Jupiter in Taurus, Pluto in Aquarius square. So first up we have Aquarius and then we have this flirty love energy. And then we have the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Yes. You ever like spell a word wrong, but it's like right, but you're like, no, it looks wrong. That just happened to me with that card. It was like, wait, <laughs> let me just count the wands. <laughs> let me just make sure. Okay, so this is why I love doing your readings intuitive because look at how on point this is. Okay, so first up, let's talk about this square because it's being addressed right away. Now, what this square brings up for us is a crystallization of what our desires really are. You may have found yourself in a loose space these past few months, let's say even the past six months, where, yeah, you're being like activated, your libido's being activated, you're feeling, you know, feelings, but it's all very unstructured. There's a lot left unsaid. There may not have even been any real progress in romance, but <clears throat> there is this like, lingering, really slow moving, slow burn thing that's been going on, right? This square happens in just a couple of hours and it perfects your feelings. And this square continues for the next like five days until the 31st of May when it will perfect. And what this time period is doing is really working you. It's working your nerves. It's trying to figure out what you really, really want, okay? Now, if you're Pisces rising, this Pluto square is right behind you in your 12th house. So it's going to start bringing up the deeper reasons for why you have the needs and desires you have. If you're in a particularly confusing situation when it comes to love right now, you will expect to see a bit of a calm down like things start to make more sense things fall into more traditional categories slowly but in the meantime you have this kind of you know flowing outward in every direction love and you haven't tried to curtail it or give it any structure or you've tried to curtail it and give it structure and the person that you're dealing with didn't want to now we come into a time where you realize that this person is their biggest enemy. They're not moving in life. They're not moving emotionally. They're not moving spiritually. And there are very clear reasons why. Okay? There are very clear reasons why. This person cannot concentrate and like perfect their wants their desires they can't pinpoint them okay they have this nebulous energy where they don't want to be pinned down to anything and what they don't realize is that it's actually not freedom it's actually keeping them from being able to totally and fully enjoy themselves like blow my mind and enjoy myself right they don't think that that's what they're missing out on they think they're messing out, missing out on something else, but that's truly 
what you walk away from right now if you get in your head and think that you know things are the way they are I can't help it or that person's never gonna be mine or um that thing is never gonna change you can be here if you want to or you can be grandly delusional up here okay and begin to adjust your sales accordingly to get you where you really want to go see because if you have this down the way you want to do it and you're down for wearing the wares and you know doing the things to do this cool then we just don't need this right if you're okay with this if you're okay with doing then this is this is someone who's just getting in the way. This is because you've specifically said, I, I could follow this playbook with anyone. I could dream it into the existence. I could pour my love into it. I could receive the love and I can win. But also in your programming somewhere you have, but not people like this. People like this for me are a red flag. People like this for me, they don't work out. People like this, and you start telling yourself, you know, a story. And that story affects the rest of your life. Okay? So, when we talk about this person, whomever this is, that isn't on the same page with you, you're beginning to realize that they're not on the same page with anyone because it's the disconnect between them and people that's really causing this. Okay? So that's what's going on for love. And in this case, the first four cards give you the playbook of what you should do what's the star card be bigger than life baby please i'm a star okay and then you're gonna give that love away you're not gonna that love is for everyone that love is for like smiling walking down the street you know thinking of your friends calling your friends calling your parents loving your siblings like that knight of cups is like i'm bringing love to the world you know, we go through that square and it's like, wait, am I whack? No, I'm not. Actually, I'm dope. I'm an, I, I'm, I want to love everybody, right? So you're getting back out there. You're post square. You're doing the things, right? Now, while you're doing this, your power is also growing exponentially because you feel good. You're taking risks. You're putting yourself in environments where you're like testing if you can do it, right? These are the things that raise Self-esteem. What is self-esteem? Merely a marker of how capable you think you are. If something went wrong, do you think you could fix it? Or not? So, again, when it comes to love, the only thing here that seems at all <clears throat> sticky, don't say too much you know when you have that feeling like i should stop talking now you should have stopped talking like five minutes ago don't say too much because this situation whatever it is is it's not over i dare say it hasn't even really begun but there's been a lot of miscommunication between you guys so and there's that temper. There's that temper. Okay. Now let's talk about money. Abundance. Speaking of which, there it is. This new you, this loving person, this person who is constantly romancing and falling in love with everything, that's the person that gets the recharge. You, Pisces, you get the recharge. You get to have all your cups filled. You get to transform you get to be persephone you go down you come back up you chill in hell you chill on earth right you are allowed to reinvent yourself 
at any time. But the financial aspect of this is what makes the Nine of Cups so profound. We asked a financial question and the Nine of Cups came up. Yeah, this financial fiscal rebirth is possible for you. But does your soul feel fulfilled? Is the way you're acquiring money okay with this guy? Think about it. Now let's take a look at health. This reading has so many strong elements. It's just like all humans. Humans, 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 humans. Two horses. That's okay, I guess. Three horses. And the horses are all lined up. Okay. So, when it comes to your health, I would be very careful if you're not wanting to get pregnant. I would be very careful. I'd also be very careful with being around like that like sketch element of people um even if it's like out late at night or whatever it's it seems accident prone to me i don't like this i don't like asking about health and getting a five of swords like that's like that's also you keeping yourself sick by not going to the doctor for something that you're embarrassed about you definitely need to go to the doctor um and just like if, if you feel it go to the doctor The Six of Cups is about joy. That joy has to replace the betrayal. That joy has to replace the fear. Okay? Because this is actually just compassion. And this guy can be very easily turned around by love as well. Right? So for health, looks like we're taking time off and enjoying dressing up, spending time with kids, getting pregnant, all that kid related stuff. Like I said, if you don't want to be pregnant, I suggest you do something soon. And then we have, yes, the eight of cups. And the Ten of Swords. And this. So, a lot has changed and moved forward. A lot that's being masked as being fine because you keep doing the work, but why are you revving your engine so hard when it's empty? Is it just to show people you're okay when you're not okay? Is that what it is? Because why wouldn't you tell... I feel like you go into secret and work on things that you don't want anyone else to know about because you think will judge you. And I think what happens when you go off and do these secret things this way is that you develop these like pockets of isolation that nobody knows about. And it doesn't feel good at all. So we talked about love, we talked about money, and I guess we need to talk about health, right? And then we'll shuffle for an outcome card for heading into June. Health. 10 of cups, somebody to take care of you, somebody who's going to take care of you, somebody who knows how to take care of you. That's health. Companionship, touch, being together. This is health. 
This is what raises right? The endorphins, the, the, all the hormones, everything. This is what makes everything rage. So this is what comes next in terms of health. Is that like family unit? Is all these people together? Is children? All of that stuff. Like I said, if you're not trying to get pregnant, oh my gosh, stay away, stay away. And when we look at the general outcome card, first we have this nine of swords. Yeah, this square tonight is tough. It makes us feel so many weird things. We have no idea why we're doing what we're doing, but quickly the mood will change so quickly you won't even notice it. Okay. Here we go. Now that's the square. That's the outcome and that's the square. That's tonight at 9 p.m. New York City time, and Pluto and Aquarius will be talking to Jupiter in Taurus. Your secrets will come out, because Jupiter in Taurus doesn't know how to keep a secret. Your secrets will come out. Are you strong enough to face them? That's the only real question. Hmm. Well, all right. You take that square tonight. You take that moon energy. You let it reveal what wants to be revealed. You, you know, you, you, you allow yourself the sadness and the pain. If what the moon tells you is, you know, he doesn't love you, whatever it is, whatever it is, at least tonight you'll know. Shit. That's so much better than not knowing. Right? By tonight, you'll know, inshallah. Hang tight, Pisces. We got a fucking bomb-ass extended coming up. Bye.